in this new episode let's join us and explore san francisco beautiful city of san francisco on our way from sydney to las vegas where we started our travel we had a short stay over in san francisco couple of nights in san francisco we stayed in the vertigo hotel in downtown san francisco the amazing vertigo hotel where hitchcock's film the vertigo was filmed it was an amazing experience walking up and down the stairs where james stewart's running around in that film we had enough time to take the big bus in San Francisco, which took us around the city, across the bay, over the iconic Golden Gate Bridge. We also had enough time to take a short cruise to the infamous Alcatraz prison. Although it's a museum these days, but that was a fascinating and very eye-opening and intimidating experience. So let's join us to explore San Francisco. It will be an exciting start of our US series. Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo is a cinematic masterpiece released in 1958. This psychological thriller is renowned for its innovative storyline and captivating visuals. During our stay in San Francisco, in downtown San Francisco, we stayed in the hotel called Vertigo Hotel, where the actual film was filmed. Original name of the hotel was Empire Hotel, which was renamed in recent time, where Kim Novak stayed in the film. We felt extremely special while we were staying in this hotel. The film star James Stewart as a retired police detective suffering from acrophobia, fear of heights, who became entangled in a complex mystery involving a woman named Madeleine, played by Kim Novak in the film. The story takes the audience on a mesmerizing journey through the streets of San Francisco as it explores themes of obsession, identity and deception. We love Hitchcock films, so our stay was extra special. We had amazing food at various diners across the city, but we didn't photograph at that time. As you know, we are from Hobart and we found a connection with San Francisco, at least as far as the name Hobart is concerned. The Hobart building that we located in the downtown San Francisco is a primarily an office building. The building was named after its original owner, Garrett Hobart, who was the Vice President of the United States under President McKinley. Next, we went to Lombard Street. Lombard Street in San Francisco is often referred to as the crookedest street in the world. Its famous street is renowned for a steep, winding section which features eight hairpin turns that were designed to make it easier for vehicles to navigate from extremely steep grade of the hill. The picturesque section of Lombard Street is lined with beautiful landscaped gardens and colorful flowers, making it a popular tourist attraction and a postcard worthy spot. We walked up the unique street to experience the thrill of its twists and turns while enjoying panoramic view of the San Francisco city and the San Francisco Bay. It was just extraordinary. San Francisco's iconic cable cars, often referred to as trams, are a historic and beloved mode of public transportation in the city. These cable cars are often one of the few manually operated cable cars still in operation worldwide. The San Francisco cable car system dated back to late 19th century, with its first line operating in 1873. They were initially created to help residents navigate the city's steep hills. The cable car have a distinct appearance featuring open-air wooden cabins, brass fittings and a manually operated grip mechanism. They are painted in classic red and creamy livery. Cable cars are manually operated by grip men and the conductors who control the speed and the braking of the cars. The grip man uses a lever to engage the cable, which is constantly moving beneath the street, to propel the car. While cable cars were originally designed for practical transportation, today they are a popular tourist attraction. Many visitors ride them to experience the unique charm of San Francisco and taking a scenic view. The San Francisco cable car system is designed as a 
National Historic Landmark and is an iconic symbol of the city and California in general. We loved San Francisco tram system. We took a tram to Pier 39. Pier 39 is famous for its vibrant atmosphere, diverse attractions and stunning views of San Francisco Bay, making it a top tourist destination in the city. Clam chowder at Pier 39 in San Francisco is a culinary delight not to be missed. Served piping hot in sourdough bowl, it's a savory and creamy seafood soup that perfectly complements the waterfront ambience, making it a must-try dish for visitors to this iconic tourist destination. Our time was limited, so we took a city sightseeing open-top bus tour for the most of the city tour. Crossing the Golden Gate Bridge on the big bus was an incredible experience. The bridge, famous for its vibrant red color and stunning views, is not just a bridge, but it's a symbol of San Francisco. The bridge was completed in 1937 and is known for its impressive design and historical significance. Riding on the big bus allows us to take the breathtaking panoramic beauty of the bridge and the San Francisco skyline beyond. It is recognized as one of the most photographed bridges globally and has a captivating history of engineering and construction. As you ride across the iconic bridge on the big bus, you will witness the towering bridge towers at an impressive 746 meter above the water. The bridge often finds itself shrouded in fog, creating enchanting and mysterious ambience. We had a stop at the Vista Point located at the southern end of the bridge. We enjoyed a breathtaking, unobstructed view of the bridge against the backdrop of San Francisco. It's a very popular spot for photo taking and to enjoy the grandeur of this iconic structure. That was a mesmerizing experience riding on the Golden Gate Bridge. Whether it's shrouded in its signature fog or baths in California sunshine, the Golden Gate Bridge is a mossy landmark that combines natural wonder with human achievements. Our experience of the Golden Gate Bridge from Sausalito was nothing short of amazing. When we reached the waterfront, we truly appreciated the view. Sausalito offers a unique perspective on the Golden Gate Bridge that you simply cannot get it from San Francisco. As we stood on the shoreline, the view of the Golden Gate Bridge from Sausalito was just breathtaking. Bridges, red towers, touching the sky, it was just beautiful. San Francisco's port, known as the Port of San Francisco, has a rich maritime history dating back to the gold rush era of the 19th century. It played a pivotal role in the city's growth as a major trading and transportation hub connecting the region to the world. During our brief stop at the port, we had a chance to witness the San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge, commonly referred as the Bay Bridge. Its unique design and impressive scale make it another iconic feature in San Francisco Bay Area offering a striking contrast to the Golden Gate Bridge. The next day, we took a ferry to Alcatraz Island. If you don't know what is Alcatraz Island is, you must watch the Clint Eastwood movie called Alcatraz. It's an infamous prison island in US, just across the Bay of San Francisco. Even the clouds hit the Golden Gate Bridge in the morning, we were excited, and the ferry ride to the island was just extraordinary. When we stepped onto the island, we joined a walking tour of the famous prison. Walking through the cold, dim cells felt like going back in time, and hearing about his famous prisoners sent shiver down our spines.
Alcatraz was once a maximum security prison that held many famous criminals like Al Capone and Machine Gun Kelly. It had a top reputation for housing some of America's worst criminals. But the real highlight came when we reached the top of the island. The clouds started to clear and we saw an amazing view of San Francisco below. It was breathtaking. We could see the city skyline and finally the Golden Gate Bridge was emerging from the morning mist. It was a majestic view. In that moment, history, mystery and the beauty of the city all came together, creating an unforgettable memory. So friends, this was our amazing two days in San Francisco. Time was short, but enjoyment was pretty big. Stay tuned for our next episode of the US series, where we plan to take you to the Sin City, Las Vegas. Thanks for watching our travel videos. Stay safe. Goodbye until the next video.